pouchitis. Okay. Before that, I will discuss some important points. For example, in ulcerative colitis, the treatment of choice or the surgery of choice is total proctocolectomy with ileal pouch, anal anastomosis. Okay. This pouch, most common type of pouch used is J pouch. What is the length of this pouch? It is 15 centimeter. Okay. This pouch acts as reservoir in place of rectum. It helps in decreasing the frequency of motion. Okay. And it helps in absorption also. Okay. So, uh, now if there is inflammation of pouch, inflammation of mucosa of ileal pouch, then it is known as pouchitis. Okay. Now, the it is the most common complication of total proctocolectomy with ileal pouch anal anastomosis okay seen in 7 to 33 percent cases and is most common complication okay now what is the etiology overall the etiology is unknown but there are certain hypotheses which explains why pouchitis is occurring they say that it may be due to the mucosal ischemia or local factors like mucosal inflammation or bacterial overgrowth. Okay. Now, what is the clinical features? The clinical findings are similar to that of ulcerative colitis. The patient generally presents with increased stool frequency with fever, blood in stools, abdominal cramps and dehydration. The management of pouchitis is mainly medical management. Okay. So, the management initially we will hydrate the patient with IV fluids, hydration with IV fluids, and then we will start antibiotics. Which antibiotics are helpful in pouchitis? We have already discussed ciprofloxacin and metronidazole. We generally start oral ciprofloxacin and metronidazole. Okay. Now, probiotics have a definite role. The probiotic which is most preferred is VSL3 and few patients have a dramatic improvement after giving probiotics. If the patient is not responding to antibiotics, probiotics, then there is a possibility of Crohn's disease. Okay. And if there is Crohn's disease or if it is not responsive, then we should do a pouch excision. With end ileostomy. Okay. So, this is about pouchitis. Now, 
I will discuss the most important topic that is the differences between the ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and lot of questions almost in each and every exam at least there is one question or two questions in whole of the exam few questions will be from the pathology point of view few will be from the surgery point of view or radiology point of view but almost always in every exam there will be at least one or two questions from this point.